Now, the latest news coming in from Kenya indicate that one of the presidential candidates in the Kenya elections, Raila Odinga, has rejected the election results that were announced yesterday by the IEBC chairman, Mr. Wafula Chabukati. Uh, Raila Odinga says Kenyans are not going to allow one person to disorganize their country. They are not going to allow one person to change what the biggest number of Kenyans have decided. Uh, Raila Odinga also commended his supporters for remaining calm and uh, requested them to continue doing so but not taking the law in their hands. He said they are going to use the lawful and constitutional channels to invalidate IEBC chairman Wafula Chebukati's illegal announcement yesterday. Our view in the Zemiro is clear. The figures announced by Mr. Chebukati are null and void. I repeat, the figures announced by Mr. Shibukati are null and void and must be quashed by a court of law. In our view, there is neither a legally and validly declared winner nor a president elect. Mr. Shibukati's announcement purporting to announce a winner is a nullity. He acted with gross impunity and in total disregard of the Constitution and our laws. I want to commend our supporters for remaining calm and keeping the peace and urge them to continue to do so. Let no one take the law into their own hands. We are pursuing constitutional and lawful channels and processes to invalidate Mr. Chibukati's illegal and unconstitutional pronouncement. Well, in that video, that is William Ruto celebrating his win after announced winner by the chairman IEBC Wafula Chebukati yesterday. Very happy moment for him and the supporters right there. Well, there you go. Uh, that is uh, the latest update coming in from Kenya and uh, I'll continue giving you updates from that side. <music> Well, in other news, another RDC in President Museveni's government has died in a period of a half a month. Uh, Sulaiman Barasa Ogajo, the RDC for Namayungo district, had been admitted to Mulago Hospital for a couple of days until he passed on today. Uh, Minister Miley Babalanda, whose ministry is in charge of RDCs, described the fallen RDC as a respected opinion leader. Now, in her own words, she said, I regret to announce the death of Musei Barasa Ogajo Suleiman Aradisi Namaingo, who has passed on today at Mulago Hospital. He was a respected opinion leader who contributed greatly in the struggle for a free Uganda. All prayers are with family and friends. Well, there you go. That is Honorable Minister Miley Babalanda confirming the sad news of Aradisi Namaingo District uh, Suleiman Barasa Ogajo. Well, it should be remembered that two weeks back, we lost another RDC, Haji Sereko Mutumba, from Kayunga District. And then after that, we lost Honorable Jessica Erio, former Minister of Environment in President Museveni's government from Ajumani District. Well, may all their souls rest in peace. Well, in other news, uh, something is not right in the National Unity Platform. Another comrade in Bobby Wine's camp, NUP, that is Tonix Brown PK, has died. Tonix was NUP coordinator in Durban, South Africa. Uh, Nubian Lee posted on his socials that, Gone too soon, we have lost our comrade, coordinator Durban, South Africa, commonly known as Tonix Brown PK. My sincere condolences go out to family and friends. May God grant him everlasting eternal peace. Well, we don't know yet the cause of death, but it's so sad. Very handsome gentleman right there, gone too soon. May his soul rest in peace. Well, there you go. That is the latest update I have for you right here on the Buzz UG. And uh, in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fula. Thank you. Hey.